Welcome to this video. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to wire a lighting circuit with a ceiling pendant and three switches. Two interme one intermediate and two two-way switches, which are commonly used in hallways, where you've got the lights going all the way down the hallway and you've got switches all the way along. So you can switch them on and off in whichever position you're in. First things first, fail to plan and plan to fail. So we're gonna draw it out so we know exactly what we're doing. We've got a consumer unit just here with all the switches and your main isolator. That's where you'll get fed from. And then you'll have your light, what we're gonna feed. And then we'll have the three switches down here. So this in effect is a hallway where you're gonna go along the hallway and the switches will be positioned as you go along. Well, now this one is a two way. This one is an inner, intermediate, and this one is a two way. So how we're going to wire this lighting circuit, we're gonna come from the fuse board with your live, neutral, and earth, straight to the light switch. Not to the light switch, to the light, sorry. And then down to the first, to the first light, we'll take an earth, and we'll take two, a pair down there, which will be your switch live and your permanent live. And then from that two-way switch, we'll take a three-core cable and an earth to the intermediate switch. And then from the intermediate switch, we'll take a three-core cable and an earth to the next two-way switch. And as you can see on here, that we don't need the neutral down to the switches. The neutral will only go to the light. So let's see what it looks like in real life. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut our plasterboard boxes into the plasterboard for our switches. So to do a good job, let's get all the switches level. And then to mark out where our switches are gonna go. Put this one in here. And now to cut the boxes out. Before you put your boxes in, do the little knockouts for the cable to go through. Let's do all three of these. That bit there. They come with all knockout, so it's easy enough to do. And then put them in. And these boxes, we've got little clips, so push them right back Clip them in, pull them forward. Right back, push them in, clip them forward. And they'll be lovely and secure. Voila. And now to figure out exactly where we're gonna put our light. We just wanna go for the centre. So we'll go there. We need a hole to bring the cables through. So first things first, we wanna get the live, which is a one mil cable for a lighting circuit, that's fine, into the light switch. So I know it looks easy here, but this is just in the garage doing a test. So there we go. We're gonna feed the live into the light switch. And then from the actual light here, there, we wanna go down to the first switch. And this one is gonna be your switch wire. So nick it, two little nicks, just so you remember for terminating. Now to wire to the other switch, we're gonna need some different cable. 
So if I just show you this sort of cable, it's three core. In the three core, we have three cores and the earth. So we're gonna use these three cores for switching. So we're gonna wire this one from the first switch to the intermediate switch to the other two-way switch. There we go, all wired. So first things first is to strip your cables back. And what I'll do with the switch wire is if you do that one first, and then with the switch wire, put the brown sleeve in on, because then you'll know that it's always a switch wire. Do this terminating first, then in like a domestic premises or maybe in commercial or industrial, you can test them out and bail them out because normally you come back and second fix later on. So if you mega them and test them to make sure that the cables haven't been damaged. So then put the earth sleeve in on the actual earth. Make sure you've got plenty to go through to grip onto. As you can see, some of these have obviously got black and gray cables in there. You're gonna to have to put a bit of brown sleeving over them to identify them as live. Just put the sleeving onto the gray and the black. Obviously the brown, won't worry about it because it's brown already. Right, and then to get the ends ready to put inside your switch. With the earths, there's no actually any place to terminate them. So what you want to do is put a wag on the end. But the ones with two cables in, you can obviously use them to connect up. So it carries on the earth that protects the cable to the next switch. Ooh, I ain't got it. So we need to connect to the earths to carry on the earth to the next switch. Now the first switch for where the cable comes down from, from the light, that's got your switch live and your live in. But with the first one, you can see in the common, I doubled that over. I wouldn't double the rest over if they've got two cables going into the terminal. So that one from the three core cable, the brown, which will be your common, goes straight into the common of the switch. And then you use black as L1. Put that in with the brown, the live coming from the light switch, which will terminate next. And then the gray from the three core, put that into L2. Along with the switch wire from the light switch. That. 
and with the intermediate switch which will be the middle one the common will go straight through onto the next two-way switch so you put that in either a chop block or a way go but then with the switch you'll also have oh upside down l1 l1 l2 l2 so what you used as the black in the one-way switch you'll use as l1 also in the intermediate switch you can put both of these blacks into l1 And then the greys, what you used on the, the two-way switch, will go into L2. Your final second two-way switch we only have three terminals in again. So you use the brown as common from the th three core cable. And again, you use black as L1, just like you've used in the other switches. Oh, Stevens fell off of that. Make sure it's got a bit of sleeving on to identify that it is a live cable. And then, you grey into L2. And now you've got to do is fix them back. When you're fixing them back, just make sure that they're formed in nice and neat and don't get caught anywhere for when you, or don't get pinched in the box for when you screw the box back. Because that'll cause a fault later on down the line. So just make sure your cables, like this one, are nice and neat. So when they do go back in, they go back in nice and neat and don't get caught on anything. And now to terminate the actual ceiling pendant. I am down here. And then not always, you'll get it on a joist or sugar. So you might have to use either pigtail fittings or some plasterboard fittings. But this one is on a joist. So we can get a nice, decent fitting. Again, with this one, you your two nicks, if you can see them in there, is your switch wire. So I'll terminate this one first, because then you won't get confused once you've got your sleeving on. So you always know that this one is your switch wire going down to the switch. And then this one is your live coming in. And what I do first on a ceiling rose Get your earths formed in there, nice and neat, into the earth block. And you can measure off 
the other ones that go into these terminals. And we've got three sections of terminals on here. So we want the neutral to go into the one at the end, the, the, the far end three blocks, because that'll be your neutral block. And then your live coming in from the board wants to go into the middle. And then we'll have the live going down to the switch, which will be the brown also going into the middle but then the other one with brown sleeving on will go into the switch the switch the basically the life to the light you can see that on there that's your switch live there you two lives and there's your neutral And now to put your pendant back in, which will go onto your live, neutral, sorry. And then that will go in with your switch live that goes down to the switch. Get these formed in here properly. You don't want to see any of that cable coming through the ceiling rows. So there you go, that's how to wire a lighting circuit with two two-way switches and intermediate. I suppose you think it does it work. Let's find out. So then what we've got is the two-way, the intermediate and the two-way. So let's see, you get to the bottom of the stairs, you want the light on. It works. But then you turn it up the stairs and you get to the midway, so you don't you don't want the light on anymore. You can turn it off. So then you get to the top floor. The top floor, maybe you want the light on on the way downstairs. You can turn it back on again. So whichever way you switch these lights, I switch it on and off. It's exactly what you want. So there you go. That's how to wire a lighting circuit with a two, -way, two two ways and an intermediate switch. If you like this type of content, leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below to let me know what sort of wiring diagrams or wiring sequences you want me to go through in the next video. Till next time.